Chapter 14 Somewhere on the calm beaches of North Carolina, there is a house that stands on a bluff overlooking the waters of the Atlantic. The new renters have just moved in, and the black car of a visiting friend sits in the driveway. If there is one drawback to being a dedicated smoker, it is the phlegm. Michael stands over the kitchen sink, contracting his lungs to free the gunk that holds tight to his cilia. He succeeds in lifting an acidic-tasting chunk into his mouth. He spits it into the drain and turns the water on, rinsing his mouth out. You really should quit, Jockham says, walking into the kitchen. I know, I know, Michael says, turning around to dry his face. Jockham hands him a small package. What's this? Mike asks. A going away present. Thanks, but you're not supposed to get me one when you're going away. I know, I know. Jockham takes out two glasses from the cabinet and opens a bottle of scotch on the table. Michael opens the box to see a shining brass zippo staring back. How do you know? Jockham shrugs as he fills the glasses. Michael put the box on the table and puts the Zippo in his breast pocket. Thanks. <laughs> Use it in poor health, Jockham says, sliding a glass to his friend. Michael laughs. So what are you going to do now? I'll head back to Thailand, get away from the press, maybe start another project. I hear genetic engineering is becoming a big business. He lifts his glass to his lips. It's never simple with you, is it? <laughs> Why walk forward when we can take leaps ahead? Michael drinks and looks out the window. Farah stands on the deck, looking out to the ocean, the wind blowing her hair back. Michael sighs. She's beautiful. Isn't she? Jockham looks out the window. Glorious. Michael turns back to him. I'm worried about her. Since her father's death, she has become increasingly quiet. It has been traumatic for her. Have patience. You're right. Michael looks down to the table, then out to her again. Jockham squints his eyes slightly and smiles as he looks at Mike. You know what her father had said to me? Michael looks back to him. Jockham goes on. He said that the fire of the soul that is transferred between people is also present in every object and life form around us. That humanity may be able to do more with it, but that doesn't make us superior. Our station in this world is equivalent to every other factor that makes up this world. Jockham looks down to his glass, running his index finger along the rim. I think that humans are moving towards a great enlightenment. We will soon reach the point that we can be both strong individuals and a strong society, and it starts with recognizing and being comfortable with the differences that keep us separate. He looks up to Mike and smiles like the devil himself. I guess that's all a bunch of bullshit, though, because no one has the answers. Jockham downs the rest of his drink and stands, claiming he has a long drive ahead of him. He and Michael shake hands and then walk out onto the deck. Jockham walks to Farah, who is still staring out at the water. He hugs her and she hugs back. He tells her to say hello to her stepfather for him and laughs as he walks away. Michael puts his arm around her as she does the same to him. It's funny, she says turning the embrace into a full hug. How at night, when you look out at the water, 
You can't see the horizon. Just this wide open space with countless stars. Think of all the possibilities.